It is Lucy here and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to do a little bit more of Oregon Trail. I am sick a little bit, so I'm so sorry about my voice. Hopefully it will last the whole video, but let's go ahead and get into our adventure. Hopefully we can finish it today. Um, if not, maybe in the next part we'll finish it. I'm just hoping we can reach the end is all I'm hoping for. So let's go ahead and start playing. Okay, so we have 97 miles left to get to the dollies. So hopefully we can do that as well. Um, hopefully nothing bad happens. We're only down to three adventurers. Fish team in the water nearby, a prime location to cast a line and try to catch a bite. Though bait is required, the party could craft some. Okay, so we'll have Cora do it and I'll be right back with you guys. Cora manages to catch 120 pounds of fish and brings it all back to storage. Thanks to a trap in the water, Cora also managed to capture an additional 20 pounds of fish. With a knife, Cora can spend some extra time cleaning the fish for any leftover meat. What should, should Cora use a knife, but we don't have one, so. All right, so we'll head this way and see if we can do that. Okay, I'm gonna repack this and then hopefully, um, hopefully we can get this done. I will try to repack it. Okay, so I was able to repack it, no worries there. So let's go ahead and keep going. Hopefully we can get to the dollies before anyone gets hurt or anything. Oh no. Tripping over a small bump in the rough ground, Cora finds herself in the dust a little sore. She picks herself back up and keeps walking. Oh my god. Okay, well that's great. Without any ammo, the only recourse is to try to gather some of the berries and the fruit that the animals have been living on. After some time, Billy stumbles across some small purple berries. He gathers as many as he can and carries them back. Okay. Um, let's go this way because this is a question mark so it might be something that we can unlock. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to pack this. That's the only thing. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to pack this. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to take it so we'll just have to discard it. We have to fix our wagon and all of that so... Billy is forlorn. I have had enough. Okay, he's leaving the party. All right, good riddance. The remaining party's spirited seems lifted. Billy has abandoned the party. Not looking great. Not looking great, unfortunately. But we don't have any place to like set up camp that they're going to boost their morale. But here's some horses. The ox spent several hours gazing slowly, enjoying the meal. Seems refreshed. Oh gosh. Um, and good spirited by the time the party is ready to set out. That's wonderful. Cora checks the bags of flour, then recoils in disgust. I don't want to do anything. Just discard it. Cora dumps the flour on the trail side, and at least the weevils will be well fed. What a waste. It's okay. We'll be fine. As the party crests the final rise of the delis, Vast swathes off the Oregon country appear ahead. The journey is nearly over. My gosh, thank you. All right, let's see if we can trade anything. Trade supplies. Why can't we go to the store, though? We'll have her haggle. Nope. All right, fine. Um, we need toolboxes. Fine. Um, okay, back. Um, let's go here so we can, um, fix this stuff. Okay, and then we can use repair. Okay. Trade. Trade supplies. All right. It's fine. Um, what about the store, though? Why can't we go to the store? All right, I guess we'll just set out. After months of travel, the group must resolve on a final approach to Oregon. Will they venture north and brave the Columbian River Rapids or south along the overland route via the Barlow Toll Road? The party weighs their options soberly. All right, I guess we'll go this way. Rafting the Columbia River has a long been tradition, means of reaching Oregon, and one that the party has decided to risk. They press northward up towards the river. Oh, shoot. I guess we could have just went around it. Dang it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All right. 
we have to use the harmonica for right now so that we can boost their morale a little bit. We don't have very much fish left and we don't have very much meat. Ahead of the party, the trail disappears under a mass wood and leaves. It seems a recent storm has brought down some large trees and now stubbornly refuses to move out of the way. Given some time, the fallen trees could be chopped and removed. However, it would require significant effort on the group's part to do so manually. Alternatively, the party could backtrack and try to find another way around, though there is no guarantee that that even exists. What should be done? Leaving the, un the known qualities of the trail to find a way around the rock, the rock slide will require blazing a trail testing the wayfinding abilities of anyone in lead. Depending on the skill, the navigator finding a way around could be very quick or take significantly longer. Who could take point? Cora successfully finds a way around the rock slide suitable for the wagon and leads Cora back to the trail with little time wasted. Nice. Oh my god. The wagon jostles an unsmoothly movement of the ox and pulls it across the ever-changing ground. Oh my god, we only have this much meat left. We have to take it with us. Oh my god. Yeah, well, you're going to starve to death because we don't have any food. The roar of the rapids reach the party's ears. The sounds of the Columbia River is soon all that can be heard. Talk. Let's see. Nothing to do here, I guess. Trade. Oh, my God. Really? Well, at least we have some flour to keep us safe. <laughs> um, all right. I guess we depart. The party approaches the river, the wagon is cocked, and the raft constructed as preparations are made to raft down the Columbia. Oh, God. I hope we can do this. I was always really bad. Oh, my God. Okay, wait. D and A are left and right, I guess. All right. Oh, my God. I was so bad at this when I was younger. Oh, my God. It's getting faster. Oh god, oh god. Oh shoot. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god. Rafting complete. All right, so we made it back to the trail, which is great. And we're just going to keep going. Oregon City. Oh God. We pack it. We don't have very much. God, uh, do this and do that. You guys, I think we'll make it this this time. I think we'll make it. A coyote growls at the party. The party stops and waits to see how the co coyote will react. It makes no moves. What should be done? Leave. The party leaves the coyote to growl at them as they walk off. Yeah, let's just leave. A small fishing hole comes into view, not present on any maps or in any guidebooks. It may be very well be teeming with fish. Go fishing. We'll have Cora do it, and I'll be right back with you guys. Cora manages to catch 114 pounds of fish and brings it all back to storage. Thanks to a trap in the water, Cora also managed to capture an additional 20 pounds of fish. With a knife, uh, but I can't use a knife, so we're just going to keep going. Without any ammo, the recourse is to try to gather some of the berries and the fruit that they... Okay. Cool. Oh, Ira gained one, one morale, which is great. The snow drifts quickly over... Or thickly over the stretch of the trail, blanketing the grass and, and foliage. The ox is finding it difficult to graze. Ira inspects the supplies, only to find that some of them have been spoiled by the wind and the snow. There's no snow, though. A portion of the wagon's food stock is set aside for the ox. The extra nutrition the ox is able to avoid a worst of the cold conditions. Cora has dysentery. Great. <laughs> Great. Don't we still have berries left? Okay. I'm going to use that. There's something up ahead. Hooray. After months of turmoil and priv privation, fearsome dangers and matchless wonder the party has finally made it to the Willamette Valley how 
have the most difficult version of the trail in this ultimate ultimate test of knowledge planning and decision making. Oh my god, did we so we made it? Oh my god, you guys, we made it. Oh my god, that's awesome. Your party has reached Oregon City. I mean, we had to swap out a party, but at least we made it. <laughs> I'll probably play this a little bit more because I feel like this is a lot of fun. So we could pick like new adventures and do something different. Congratulations, you made it to Oregon. The journey was a long and challenging one. Yes, it was. But now your party can look forward to the new life in Willamette Valley. Awesome. Oh, and I like that their characters are there and they're like so excited. Grandfather Clock. Yay. It's showing us like everywhere we traveled. But we didn't really travel the first part of it. <laughs> it was a different team that didn't make it. Total deaths, one person. Expert Traveler. Oh my god. I don't think so, but thanks. All right, you guys. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. I really do love the Oregon Trail. I like the newer version. It's a lot of fun. The graphics are awesome. The colors are great. Um, but anyways, you guys, I'm going to end it here. Like I said, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I will talk to you all very soon.